What's going on there, YouTube? Vapin' with Twisted 420 has returned. Get down on it. All right, so last year we had a lot of stuff happen in 2016 as far as the kind of technology and electronic stuff. Kind of early 2016, we had this kind of hoverboard race where people were making these quote unquote hoverboards. And you could only find these things in like Japan, but you can even go to like a Best Buy now and you can buy these things for like $200. I remember originally just to get them from like Japan, they were like, Easily over 500. You know, they had their time, but ever since the boosted board, the electronic skateboard came out, and that's been the next race. This is my board that I got from Genesis Boards, and originally boosted boards by Boosted were going for around like $1,500, and I think they still are. Now, I personally don't own a boosted board, so I really don't know the comparison, but out of other videos that I've seen on YouTube, I've noticed that they're basically the same. With this being three times less, than the boosted board. And we're starting to see other boards that are being made for around even more, but are progressively starting to get better and they're getting a lot better material and easier to maneuver around. And I think this kind of race is still going on. We're still gonna see a variation of different boards like later on and, and possibly we'll see even more personal electronic, you know, little motorized things going around. And then the last thing which I don't own is a drone and that was Kind of the last race that I think I believe is still going on who can make the smallest drone the least expensive drone the highest quality drone with 4k camera being able to record how accessible is it do you need to put it into a bag and now you could pretty much put a drone in your pocket and take it out and it'd be pretty much 4k quality maybe later this year I might get one just as of right now I'm kind of holding my money back you never know something could randomly come out there that's like I have to buy and maybe it might happen. I don't really see any reason why I need a drone. I probably wouldn't even use it all that often anyway, probably for a shot here and there or for a funny skit or something like that, but I'm not gonna have it for like Casey Neistat, cinematics just in vlogs and stuff, I, no. And the board is something I use every day. Me, Gandhi, and Nick now have a board, which is really cool, so we can go around wherever we want. They get really good distance, which is really awesome. They last a long time and they go pretty fast too. But the start of this year, I want something to change. I want there to be like a new race and I hope this kind of catches on to people and if you know anybody ever sees this video that wants to invest in something, this is something I really would encourage people to invest in just because personally I think this could probably be the, this year in vlogging. And that is uh, these things. You can see there's like a, a little camera right there and they're kind of thick like the video doesn't really do it that much justice, but you know, when you see these, you go like, those are some weird, weird looking glasses. These are not the best. I actually bought these last year and made a video about it. It cost me around $200, I think a little bit more than that, and uh, I don't see anything else that's better than this. But th the thing about these, there's been so many times, especially in the past couple of months, that I go, I wish I was recording something. It's hard to continuously have out your camera all the time and be recording, and yes, you can do skit stuff and things like that, but the, but the randomness, you know, that those very random moments that you don't that you don't make that just happen. Those are the best kind. And when you're vlogging as well, like you have to have, you know, one camera holding and, they, and you only have one more. I also don't like these so much just for, it's kind of weird when you put these things on, you have to lower them slightly and look a little weird just so this thing can be perfectly straight so the camera can be perfectly straight. If I put them right on my head and get them really comfortable, it kind of has a high angle, so I kind of have to look down just to see, you know, what I'm recording exactly. The stabilizing on it isn't very good either. If there would ever be another company or something that would make another one, the stabilizing should really be something they should look into just in case I move my head fast. And I would love these things to have a long battery life, for them to have a good amount of memory, for them to record in, you know, pretty good vlog quality. This is something that's quick and can get your footage very very fast. I definitely want this year to be like the vlogging camera race year or something. I don't know. You know these things are kind of bulky and you can see the camera in the middle and I would really really like something that you look at and you just go that is just a regular pair of glasses and we'll just uh see how this goes. These things are so gay. What? <laughs> Yeah, what, what, is that a camera? <laughs> it's a there? camera. What the heck? Alexa, I'm home. Well, hello. 
<laughs> Dude, this vanilla cup is really good. See, that's why I love them. Because now I have that. <laughs> Wait, glasses. They're oh. cameras. It's a camera. So, like, is it quality good? It's okay. I'm messing with it a little bit. I'm married. It's my piece. <laughs> yeah. I would if I could. He fucking loves them. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist. <laughs> You're the most narcissistic in the house. You're the most narcissistic in the house. Me? Yeah. 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 Um, why me? You, dude, you say narcissistic things all the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Name one thing, faggot. If I could marry myself, I, I would. <laughs> Get away from me. Dude. It's okay. What? Get away. You gotta learn something. Dude. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh! You played yourself. <laughs> My pick? Yeah. I'll take shrimps. Uh. What? <laughs> Alexa, define blowjob. <laughs> ah, slut. Dick. Dick. Scratch, Plum. Give me a little scratch. I'm not gonna scratch this. That's close. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what? Get out! Hey! Get me on my way, we're done. Big Ben with Twisted 420 has returned. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. There's just a few things that I wanted to point out. Just like I said, I want this to be a big thing in 2017. If you guys want to know the glasses that I was using during this video, they're in the description. You guys can go buy them. I don't know how much they are now. I'm guessing they're probably still around the $150 to $200 range. The glasses that I have, you know, they're not that bad of quality, but I will say that the mic is really bad and the stabilization isn't all that great. Along with the whole angling thing that I was talking about, it's just not that good. I was searching up some glasses to see if there's really any competitors to the glasses that I have and if there are any that I want to check out. And there was this one, I have no idea what the glasses are, but the clip is pretty nice, like the quality isn't too bad. But this whole bulkiness isn't just what I like. I really don't like glasses like these, but like these, this is what I want to see. Something very, very smooth, and like I said, it's like incognito pretty much. But it just sucks because with these cameras comes really, really bad quality, which sucks. And as funny as it is, this guy actually had the best glasses that I've seen, and these are actually from Pivot Head, and I have sunglasses and I want to get rid of mine, I want to get just regular glasses. I'm not really sure on the whole angles that these glasses have, but I think they're pretty good. And as far as what I'm looking for in a really nice pair of camera glasses, ninja stuff, I don't know. The angles need to be really nice, just being able to look forward and get what you want. The stabilization needs to be good, good memory, a good mic, and not to look very, very crappy and bulky. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Hope you guys liked. Like if you like, subscribe if you guys are new. Check out my apparel in the description and tweet at me if you guys ever buy any. I follow some that I see every now and then. Check out my last video at the end of this video or in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.